Hi everyone, it's Rob Ryder on Sunday, August 28th, 2016. Uh, my last couple of videos had to do with uh, mirrors and uh, mortgages and loans and this and that and the other thing. And uh, well this is about mirrors in the mirror. Basically left hand not knowing what the right hand is doing. Because on one hand an entity called mirrors is the mortgagee of record on county land records. On the other hand, Mears Systems is a loan electronic registry system that identifies the owner and custodian of the loan. So one is for the land, the county land records, and the other one is for the money, the deed of trust mortgage. And they're tied together with one entity that has more than one face. And uh, so to get an idea of where this started with, the last two videos I did, which you could find on uh, YouTube under Rob Ryder, there you can sort by upload date. It would have both been with, within the last week of this, so, you know, in the, sometime in August 2016. Uh, to give a little context, I don't know if you need it, uh, what you really might need is your own loan paperwork. And uh, so uh, I am Rob Ryder. My email address is courtofrecord at AOL.com. And if you need to call me, my number is 616-712-6179. And so what I'm going to use for most of this is just, I usually do, I go find stuff online and I just talk about what I find online. So it's really not what I say, it's what they say that I'm reading. And so uh, on Wikipedia you can find a mortgage electronic registration system, which we know as MIRS. Right, then that's uh, incorporated. And uh, going through that, I had found something under registered e notes. So I threw that into Google. And that led me to this PDF. So if you did the same thing, it should be on the front page a 2016 Mirrors PowerPoint to Merchants Bank. Which, uh, well, that ain't it. What happened here? Well, I'll just do it again. Looks like this. Just like that. Um, so it's a PowerPoint by Mirrors Corp talking to a bank. And because I have a hard time using these to do it, uh, when I do a video, I usually copy and paste a bunch and put it on paper. And so here we go. So this here came off of this here. And there's a lot more on this here than I'm going to go through. Got fraud tools, got all sorts of things. I plan on reading it much closer later, but for today. Uh, Mears Corp Holding Corporation that owns Mears System, an electronic registry for tracking, servicing, rights, and ownership interest in mortgage loans. And see, that mirrors has got that little symbol behind it, like it's a uh, registered trademark or something. Uh, it's a private corporation owned by the most significant players in the industry, including banks, servicers, title insurance companies, title companies, go figure, people that would have something to do with the mortgage business. So Mirrors Corp Holding isn't Mirrors System, they own Mirrors System. Uh, Mortgage Electronic Registry System, Incorporated, Mears, which is a subsidy of Mears Corp, so it also is part of Mears Corp. It's not Mears System, it's another part of Mears Corp. Its sole purpose is to serve as mortgagee and land records for loans registered on the Mears System. Those would be residential loans. So if your loan is registered on the Mears System, then Mears, the Mortgage Electronic Registration System Incorporated, that Mears is the mortgagee and the land records. Now, if you haven't found it there yet, then apparently we're not looking at the land records because they say that they are. So one of the things we could do is we'll call Mears, Mortgage Electronic Registration System Incorporated, and say, hey, where exactly are the land records where you recorded this loan as the mortgagee? Because they're they're made the nominal 
uh, the lender's nominee, which basically means they were made the lender's trustee. So the mirrors system, right? Now this has got the thing on it again. So now we're not talking about incorporated. We're talking about some system was created by the real estate finance industry to streamline the mortgage process by using electronics commerce to eliminate both paper and redundant process. So Mears system is for the money and Mears electronic registration system incorporated is for the land. The left hand and the right hand. Other products include Mears e-registry, a system of record for registering e-notes that identifies the owner custodian providing greater liquidity and transferability with lower cost because at some point your um, original note, note may get destroyed so we got mirrors system we got mirrors e-registry we have mirrors these are all different entities of a thing called the mirrors corp holding incorporated more than 5,000 lenders blah blah mortgage investors and government entities are mirrors system members okay so now what's mirrors system well that must be these people mirrors system and I believe to use the mirrors e-registry you have to be a member of the mirrors system more than 93 million loans have been registered on the mirrors system approximately 27 million active mortgage loans are registered on the mirrors system today roughly 70 percent market share Okay, so again, these are the loans. This is the money. This isn't the land. All legal correspondence received by Mears Corp., which is the holding company, is forwarded to the registered servicer or subservicer who then processes it on behalf of the investor. So my last two videos, it was pointed out that, um, just reading what it says in there, you'd have to go read it yourself, that the borrower is the unidentified investor. And so if we were to send legal correspondence to Mears Corp saying, hey, we would like to cash out our investment fund, which right now is somehow held um, by blank endorsement. In fact, let me go get one so we have one to look at. Uh, give me just a second to regroup here. Okay, so um, where were we? Okay, let's go look at uh, a note. So here's a mortgage note, and you'll see it's got a MIN number. This has to do with mirrors, right? That's this identification number through the MIN system. But of course, because it's on there, well, it's going to be tied to this loan and whatever this X number is. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, it's a 10 digit number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 with an X. And so, you know, if those are track securities maybe you know what that number style is and you'd say hey that's a QCIP number or something I don't know that it is I'm just saying it means something to somebody but on these notes so the borrower creates this note first of all and uh, so they're the maker right because they're gonna sign it and make it but at some point it goes someplace and it comes back and it has this stamp on it that's called a blank endorsement and this blank endorsement, because it doesn't say who to pay to the order of, whoever's holding the original is the owner. Like a bearer. It's like a bearer bond. But it could be turned to a specific um, endorsement by merely putting the name of the person that it's endorsed to above the SunTrust Mortgage Incorporated above this line. So if you were to put your name in there, if you had the blue ink signature and you put your name on there, well then this would be payable to you. Um, and since I did that video, somebody sent me one of theirs that actually showed where it had been transferred once. Right? Because in the blah blah I talked about it, that this gentleman wrote, he was saying that any time that one of these gets transferred, the note should actually be transferred by an endorsement not by an assignment and so sure enough here's one that said pay the order of Lehman Brothers Holding Incorporated without recourse from Lehman Brothers Bank and now this one says pay the order of in blank from Lehman Brothers Holding Incorporated the ones that have been transferred to now have it again um, 
in blank to who's ever the next person to take it in blank. So, um, that's how these work, I guess, right? I, I don't really understand it completely, other than if you were to put your name on there, well, you should be able to cash it. So, who would you let know to do that and so forth? Well, hopefully that's with, where this leads that we're talking about now. Um, so, more than 93 million loans, 27 million active mortgage loans are registered on Mirror System. All legal correspondence received by Mirrors Corp is forwarded to the registered servicer or subservicer who then processes it on behalf of the investor. And so I believe that that's who this is. This is the servicer. Right? Whoever has it now is the servicer. Lehman Brothers Holding Incorporated is the servicer of this particular note. And this one at SunTrust Mortgage Incorporated is the servicer of this particular note. But who would know is Mears. Every lender generates their own MIN, which is a mortgage identification number for each loan. And again, those are, you know, that's this top number right here, this 18 digit number. MIN. The security instrument names Mears as mortgagee and nominee for the lender and its successors and assigns. Now this mirrors doesn't have the little registration thing behind it. So now we're talking the mirrors that's going to be uh, this one, Mortgage Electronic Registration System mirrors with no registration symbol behind the name. And they're going to serve as the mortgagee and the land records. So mirrors serves as the mortgagee and the county land records. Hey, I just said that. For mirrors members. When servicing transfers from one Mears member to another, no assignment is needed because Mears continues to serve as the mortgagee. So in your county land records, Mears has a lien against your property. And I don't believe it's the property record that we go to to find the deed of trust and the mortgage, or excuse me, the uh, warranty deed, trust deed, that kind of stuff in. Those are all real estate or real property. I'm going to say they're real estate. I don't know what they are. Real property. They're not the land. The land record is someplace else. And this is the difference between there being an entity called Kent County, which should be the political subdivision of the state of Michigan. So within the Kent County, the county officers have the power to enforce the state law within the county which is different than County of Kent, which I'm not really sure what it is, other than it could be a corporation, could be a municipal corporation, but it's not the state government, and um, that's where the land records are. Because right? the state, you know, they, they didn't leave the state. But we do these warranty deeds where we went and took, we were taken from being uh, a f owner in fee simple and made into some kind of tenant. And we've agreed to it, and we did this warranty deed, and we filed it in the county of Kent. And it's under the name, if you look at the name that's on the warranty deed, or if you look at the name that's on the um, on the deed of trust, in either case are they you in your proper name. There's some kind of legal fiction that was created using parts of your proper name, but it's not you in your proper name. It never will be you in your proper name. and um, So it's being hid behind a legal fiction. And I talked more about that in my last video. I'm not really going to get into it too much because there's just too much to read. Uh, so anyways, members register loans. So who's ever a member, member of Mears, Mears will be the mortgagee and the land records. And then they're going to register their loan on the mirrors with the registration symbol system and then report transfers of beneficial and servicing interest as they occur. Mirrors receives service of process and electronically forwards documents to current servicer of the mirrors system. And so that's why I'm saying well if you could find this thing here and you signed your name and you sent it to Mears, then they would forward it 
to Lehman Brothers Holding Incorporated and tell them to pay you. Now, I don't know how all this is going to work. It just is just laid out. And, and, and again, this is why, I, for myself, I think the right thing to do is go find these kind of people. They're called Certified in Financial Forensics, CFF eligibility requirements, and so they're they're basically fraud investigators. They're CPAs that have another a higher level than a CPA, and they're fraud investigators. I had them go investigate it and figure it out. Instead of going to an attorney at law, go get a CFF. They're the experts in money. I mean, attorneys at law don't have any expertise in money. So, members release. Um, Mirrors receive service process and electronically forwards documents to the current servicer on the Mirror system. Members release liens and assign loans out of Mirrors through our corporate resolution naming their officers as Mirrors signing officers. So the paperwork that Mirrors has with their the entities that use Mirrors is, well, we're going to turn around and make you our signing officer. Sample uh, MOM language appearing on security instrument. Mirrors, the Mortgage Electronic Registration System Incorporated, is a separate corporation that members register loans on the Mirrors system and then report transfers of beneficial service and servicing interest as they occur. Mirrors receives service of process and electronic forwards documents to the current servicer of the Mirrors with the registration mark system. Members release liens and assign loans out of Mirrors through our corporate resolution naming their officers as Mirrors signing officers acting solely as nominee for lender and lender's successors and assigns. Well as the last two videos pointed out we're actually the lender, we're, we're the investor who lent the money to our own supposed mortgage. And so um, the person that's listed as the lender on your mortgage or your deed of trust had already prior to this being done before you even sign a paper transferred his rights title and interest to somebody else who's going to transfer it, to somebody else who's going to transfer it, so forth and so on. Mirrors is the mortgage, mortgagee under this security instrument. Mirrors is organized and existing under the laws of Delaware and has an address and telephone number of P.O. Box 2026, Flint, Michigan, 48501-2026, telephone 888-679-MERS. So this mirrors here, right, is um, is the Mortgage Electronic Registration System Incorporated, which is supposed to have the land um, have put in a lien on the land in the county land records. So we really want to see what that paperwork says. I don't think anybody's ever seen that. What does it say in the county land record about? mirrors and their security interest in your loan. Not in your loan, in your land. Okay, so because um, this can get a little bit confusing, I'm going to go really slow and all I can say is if you don't really understand, well don't blame me, I don't really understand either. I'm trying to understand and I'm hoping that somebody I share this with us say, hey, I understand that part. I can go get the one answer we need to put the rest together. Because it's hard to do things when you're looking in the mirror. Try to do something in the back of your head. When you're looking in a mirror, it's hard to do. Mortgage electronic registration system, right? So I'll get this off Wikipedia. So this is the mirrors. It's going to be the um, the mortgagee on the land record is an American privately held corporation. Mirrors is a separate and distinct corporation that serves as nominee on mortgages after the turn of the century and is owned by a holding company, Mirrors Corp, which owns and operates an electronic registry known as Mirrors System. Two different things. Which is designed to track and service to track servicing rights and ownership of mortgages in the United States. So this is me saying it. Mirrors and Mirrors System are not the same entity. They're just owned by the same entity. Mirrors Corp owns both of them. 
the current mortgage electronic registration system is the third generation of companies uh, with the same name established 1999, blah, blah, blah. The original corporation has since merged with other entities created by its executives and board of directors. Why? Well, to hide the truth. Uh, although in 1999 it no longer exists, if the name was changed, and then again to Mears Corp Holdings on 227 2012, which is the owner and operator of the e registry but is not disclosed in mortgages. Me again. Mirror's system. Is Mirror's system the same as e-registry? Because, right, so far we've used Mirror's, M-E-R-S, Mirror's system, and now we're talking about um, something called e-registry. So here it is, Mirror's E-Registry. Mirror's E-Registry is the legal system of record that identifies the owner, custodian, for registered E-notes, and that provides greater liquidity, transferability, and security for lenders. Uh, the Mirror system is not a legal system of record, nor a replacement for the public land records. So this has nothing to do with the public land records. This is to do with the following the money. No interest are transferred on the system, they are only tracked. The Mears uh, e-system is essentially an e-mortgage world. It saves money and prevents confusion about who owns the e-note. Lenders today are closing e-notes and selling them into the secondary market through the Mears e-registry. When selling e-notes to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, both agencies require lenders to use the Mears registration. Mirror's e-registry is one of multiple functions utilized by participants to satisfy control requirements of Section 201 of E-Sign Act and Section 16 of Utah. UITA. Its role is to be the authorized source to identify the party that has control of the e-note and location. Well, that would be good to know. Who has the note? Because we need to find the note and say, that's my property. Because you are the you're the owner. You just haven't signed the pay to the order of yet. Right? The, so what is the e-note? Well, it's the party that maintains the, author, the authoritative copy of the e-note. Because after a while, they destroy the, the original notes, but they're still in the system. Each participant is responsible for de determining that all functions, including the mirrors e-registry, so this got that registration thing too, so this isn't the same as the side that's going to be in the land records, this is the other side. Set forth herein, utilized by the participants and its service providers, constitute a system, satisfies, oh we just read that. What is the mirrors? E-delivery, another system. Provides a secure method for distributing e-mortgage packages from one e from one mirrors e-register user to another. Uh, usage of the Mirrors e registry requires membership in the Mirrors system to begin your membership process. Blah 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 blah. So that isn't in the part from um, Wikipedia. I just threw it in there because it was fitting in at the time. But now we're back to what Wikipedia has to say. So real estate law and real estate transactions in the U.S. are subject to state regulations and county level recordation requirements. That made it quite cumbersome for financial companies to develop a smooth operation of a market based on mortgages in the 1980s. This is because every time a financial instrument containing mortgages is sold, various state laws may require that the sale of each such mortgage or deed of trust be recorded in the local county courts. Right? So where are the land records? Apparently they're in the local county courts. They're not in the Register of Deeds office. They're in the local county courts. In order to preserve certain rights, right to foreclose non-judicially, which triggers an obligation to pay corresponding recording fees. So the financial in industry, eager to trade in mortgage-backed securities, needed to find a way around these recordation requirements. And this is how Mirror's system was born to replace public recordation with a private one. Go figure. In 2007, Mears Corp Holding registered some two-thirds of all home loans in the USA. 
mortgage electronic registration system, number three, the third version, is the owner of record or the owner's nominee of a security interest arising from the mortgages extended by lenders, investors, and their loan servicers and recorded in the county land records. That is the only lien against your property is this one that Mortgage Electronic Registration System has. Or at least when you find this, at least you'll be looking at the land record instead of a property record that has to do with your property to find out what you need to do to become the um, owner in fee simple. A security interest is a type of property interest created by an agreement or by operational law over assets to secure the performance of an obligation. But the obligation isn't necessarily paying the loan. Usually the payment of a debt. But it doesn't have to be. Or it could be the $10 that needs to be paid. Because if, if you read your warranty deed, it says, normally it says to the grantor for um, $10 in hand paid and other valuable consideration, and it may give a number, it, who knows, but usually it talks about having $10 in hand paid. So who paid the $10? Usually the payment of a debt. Maybe that's the $10 you had to pay. Somebody fronted you $10 and they didn't tell you you had to pay it back. You, you, know, you didn't get the notice. It gives the beneficiary of the security interest certain preferential rights in the disposition of secured assets. Such rights vary according to the type of security interest, but in most cases the holder of the security interest is entitled to seize and usually sell the property to discharge the debt that the security interest secures. So Mears is always going to have the interest, but they're going to make these other people um, their signing agents. But they're doing it for Mears, right? So everything is being done through Mears. By using mirrors, the lender and investors who are the real parties in interest, and that's what we are, we're the investor, avoid the need to file assignments in county land records, which lowers the cost for lenders, and they claim consumers by reducing county recording fee expenses resulting from real estate transfers. This is saying that they've never transferred the ownership of your property in the county land records, because mirrors is sitting there with a lien on it and provides a central source of information and tracking for mortgage loans. So at the end of the day, Mears is where you can go to to get information on what the um, security interest is in the county land records, where to go find it, hey send me a copy, and where to find the interest in your loan so you can say, well I want to cash out. and sign the pay to the order of and send it to Mears so they can uh, electronically send it to Lehman Brothers and tell them to send you a check. However that works. That's why I'd like to talk to a CPA and you know just get it instead of me trying to talk in a, in a language I don't understand I'll let them tell me and I'll just start to understand the words they're using. Provide central source for information tracking mortgage loans. Mears Corp holding, so this is the umbrella role in facilitating mortgage trading was relatively uncontroversial in the early days, but continued to fall out from subprime mortgage crisis has placed the firm at the center of several legal challenges, disputing the company's right to initiate foreclosures. Should these challenges succeed, the U.S. banking industry could face a renewed need for capitalization. The issue of ownership of the mirror system is blurred between the entities to the point that courts tend to confuse e-registry system with the nominee because they use the same mirrors acronym. And again, the mirrors the e-registry is about the money and the mirrors as the nominee is the person that has some kind of security interest filed on the county land record. We need to see the county land record. And I don't believe when you go to where the register, where the um, uh, warranty deed is, or the deed of trust, the mortgage, whatever they call them, paperwork, I don't believe that's the county land record. I believe the county land record has something to do with a court. And that court could be the county commissioners sitting together because they're the ones that govern the county 
the Kent County government is the county commissioners and those county commissioners are each over a district and each of those districts is created based on population so that each district has about the same number of people and that's because of a court case that happened in 1968 called Avery versus Midland County Texas which said it's, un, it's unconstitutional to have like one district have 60,000 people in it and three other districts have 1,000 people each in it and then have a vote and let the vote of basically 3,000 people outdo the vote of 60,000 people. Right? It was uh, um, not equal protection of the law. And so they created in 1968, even though in 1963 it says in the Michigan Constitution, Article 7, Section 7, that there's a board of supervisors made up of the township supervisors that become the county, uh, the board of county supervisors. We don't have that anymore. Now we have county commissioners, and each commissioner is over a district. And they are technically then be have become your township supervisor. Well, they should know where the county records are. All that to say, take it to your district commissioner and say, where's the county records? I want to see who's got a lien security interest on my property. I don't believe they're going to want to answer it because, you know, they're in it to this up to their neck too, like all these other people. And so maybe this is why it won't really require any of their action. We just need to go to mirrors and ask for the right thing and, you know, instead of the way we have looked at it look at it a little bit different there's two mirrors one's got the mortgage security interest and the other one is about the money the loan okay however it's unclear how mirror system obtained documents from mirrors electronic systems incorporated right because mirrors system is different than this is the mirrors with the s for the should have a little circle there Uh, the mortgage electronic registration system began a uh, project in 1993. Blah, blah, blah. The Mortgage Bankers Association got involved in mirrors. 1995. Mortgage electronic system was intended to serve as a nominee for real estate transactions in a way strongly analogous to how Seed and Company serves as nominee owner of record for all securities held by the Depository Trust and Clearinghouse Corporation. In the late 60s and 70s, American securities industry was drowning in paper because sheer complexity of physically exchanging thousands of stock certificates every day by immobilizing physical stock certificates the lay, and later replacing them all together with book entries. Uh, DTCC enabled the development of modern computerized securities industry. So instead of having to move all over the place, they just said, well, we'll put it here, and now we'll do it a little bit different, and you won't have to keep registering it every time something moves. You'll just, you know, you're going to register it privately <laughs> instead of publicly. So the public record never changed, but there's all sorts of shit happening in the back room in a private. A mortgage-backed security grew in volume during the 80s. Uh, it became self-evident that the similar mechanism was needed for mortgages placed into securities, the underlying problem is that mortgage loan transferred into the mortgage-backed security has become must become bankruptcy remote from the originating lender. The easiest way to create such protection is to simply convey the loan for consideration through three or four ent entities before it reaches the mortgage-backed security. So somehow they're going to launder the money by saying it was sold here, then sold here, then sold here, then sold here. As noted above, each of those conveyances had to be recorded with the relevant recorder of the land registry. With each loan requiring three or four assignments and hundreds of mortgages loans going through each mortgage-backed security, the result was that records were flooded with assignments and investment banks found themselves choking on paperwork and recording fees. The same problem they had back in the 50s or 60s or 70s and the reason that the as it was saying that the DTCC came up with the seed company. So this is, you know, the mortgages, mortgage business's seed company, basically. Uh, 
Mirror's system fixed its problem in that most standard loan documents were changed to name Mirror's as the nominal beneficiary or mortgagee of record. This isn't the mirrors with the symbol, this is the the other mirrors. This enabled this is the one that's got a lien on your property. This enabled lenders and investors to transfer mortgages without recording assignments with local recording officers and in turn avoided having to pay recording fees. They just made mirrors the frickin' trustee. Ideally, assuming a loan is properly paid back on time, a mirror's loan need only two documents to be recorded. The original mortgage or deed of trust, naming mirrors, Mortgage Electronic Registration System Incorporated, right, and a reconveyance of a mortgage or deed of trust back to the borrower, thus merging legal and equitable title. Well, that would be your satisfaction of mortgage. Release a lien, satisfaction of mortgage, whatever it is. There's only two pieces of paper. If all entities along the way are Mears Corp holding members, then all intermediate transfers between these those points are tracked only on the Mears system, and the entity who holds the loan at the end merely records the reconveyance as an agent for Mears Corp holding. So whatever they do, they're doing it as an agent. Like SunTrust, right? Because right now, Lehman Brothers Holding is holding this note, right? They're the bearer, holder in due course. If they were to give it to you and you did a special endorsement, well, then you would be the payee. And there wouldn't be a bearer anymore. You would have been named the payee. So I believe that that's who we're talking about here. And the entity who holds the loan at the end merely records the reconveyance the satisfaction of mortgage, satisfaction of lien, so forth and so on, as an agent for the Mears Co. holding. Notice how Mears is both one, an agent for the original lender, and two, the final lender acts as an agent for Mears Corp. holding. This is why Mears critics frequently attack it as two-faced. There you are, got a left hand and a right hand. If the borrower defaults, the loan servicer will record an assignment on behalf of Mears to the real party in interest and initiate foreclosure. Hold her in due course. Why did I say that? I don't really remember. But if the borrower defaults, so you stop making payments, the loan servicer, which the loan servicer at the time, right, is... I believe, who's ever the last one to have the blank endorsement. They're servicing it. So that would be the one that would be uh, foreclosing on you, it would seem. Whereas both the mirror system, that last assignment would all... Whereas before the mirror system, that last assignment would always have been recorded at the time of the mortgage-backed security was created, the mirror system enabled banks to avoid having to record it unless and until one, the foreclosure became necessary, or two, the loan was sold and the mortgage backed security trustee, or by the mortgage backed security trustee, to an entity outside a mirror system owned by Mirrors Corp Holding Incorporated. So whereas before before there was mirrors, the last assignment would always have been recorded at the time the mortgage-backed security was created, the mirror system enabled banks to avoid doing that. And so instead of having uh, the mortgage-backed security when it was created, it's just mirrors back when the loan was first signed, this mortgage electronic registration system. And all this other stuff has happened in the background, but doesn't show up in the public record. So until it became foreclosure became necessary, and so if it does, then Mears, as the mortgagee of record, will go to its, um, oh, who's ever going to sign its name? What do they call it? Loan servicer, I guess. And have them, these people, 
do a foreclosure because they're holding the note. He who holds the note is the owner. And they're doing that because, well, they're the ones that have the lien in the county land record. So in the county land record, you know, Mears is the owner because they have a lien against the property. It's never been discharged. It could have long since been taken care of. It just hasn't been discharged yet. Oh, go figure. Um, Mirror's system serves several other purposes. It enables consumers, title companies, and other real estate professionals to easily identify the current holders of registered mortgages. That would be like those E mortgages or whatever they call it. I can't remember all the names. This is the problem. they got too many freaking names flying around right now. Let's say um, on the mirrors system, they got the mirrors e registry, right? It enables consumers, title company, and other real estate professionals to easily identify the current holders of registered mortgages and obtain discharges, despite any transfers of mortgage or mergers or acquisitions of the lenders or investors in interest that may otherwise make it difficult to trace ownership. It is accurately maintained by the Mirrors Corp Holding Company Incorporated Membership. So they know who has it and they know how to, if you want to obtain a discharge, you go to Mirrors Corp. The information contained in the Mirrors system can help identify possible mortgage fraud involving identity of prospective buyer and ownership occupancy issues. <laughs> That's what, you know, right now, you're not seen as the owner or occupant of your property. Your property is basically considered vacant because no one's ever gone and updated the records. You don't own your property. You're at best a tenant. You're a, you should be the owner. You should be owner in fee simple. In fact, you have title insurance that says you're owner in fee simple. But your warranty deed says that you're... Uh, a tenant in common or a tenant in something or other or some kind of tenant. The centralized database at Mirror System can also help detect property flipping schemes and purchases, mortgage identification number originated by Mirror Corp Holding uh, is a unique 18 digit number used to track mortgage loan throughout its life from origination to securitization to payoff or foreclosure. So if you give these people your frickin' number, they should be able to track it for you. Through the Mirrors Service ID, homeowners can search their mortgage servicer, regardless of whether the mortgage has changed hands since the loan was originated. By identifying the mortgage servicer, homeowners can seek to identify their lender to initiate negotiations for revised mortgage terms and take actions that can avoid foreclosures. And in the last two videos, I mean, what these, what I'm reading these other people saying is we are our own lender. It was an investment contract, not a loan. Uh, Mirrors Corp. Fold Incorporated, Mirrors System e-Registry. The Mirrors System e-Registry is a system of record that identifies the owner and custodian for registered e-notes. Built by Mirrors Corp. Holding, with endorsement of the Mortgage Bank Association at Lost 2004's Mirror System E-Registry allegedly satisfies safe, safe harbor. They already read about that. Ms. Mo and Mears in February 2009, Mears Holding Incorporated Mirror System was selected to manage the day-to-day -day operation of uh, some other stuff. The 2010 foreclosure crisis. So this is, uh, this is for no other reason, you might want to go read this stuff at the end of this thing on the mortgage electronic registration system found on Wikipedia. Um, I'm not going to read them all, but there were a couple that were very interesting. Uh, on September 24, 2009, in Arizona, dismissed all federal state claims made by three borrowers in a complaint filed against a group of defendants that included Mears. The court discussed whether Mears was a proper beneficiary but only in the context of whether its involvement constituted a tort fraud on the Bowers. The court found the mere use of mirrors was not a common law fraud on the Bowers, finding that the plaintiff had failed to allege what effect, if any, listing mirrors system as a sham beneficiary on a deed of trust 
upon their obligation as borrowers. Exactly. We need just to go look at the land record and say, well, what is the security interest, the mortgage, what is the obligation that I need to do to get this off of the record? And that was... Uh, so on a related case of Bank of New York Mellon versus Pino, after homeowner Pino had established the bank paperwork was defective, Bank of New York moved to dismiss its own suit, presumably intending to remedy the paperwork and then start a second suit for foreclosure, Florida being a judicial foreclosure state. Pino challenged the bank's right to dismiss its own suit in such a way, and as the case near to hearing in Florida Supreme Court, the party settled. Days later, the bank recorded notice at the county recorder that Pino was now the free and clear owner of his house. Days later, the bank recorded notice at the county recorder that Pino was now the free and clear owner of his house. Days later, the bank recorded notice at the county clerk county recorder that Pino was now free and clear owner of his house. Hey, he's a free and clear owner. That would mean he has fee simple title. In other words, the bank let go of its claim, presumably worth many thousands of dollars, to Pino's house because the bank's attorneys believed they were likely to lose at the state Supreme Court and thus establish a precedent that could cost them a lot of money. Avoiding the precedent was worth more than the lost money lent to Pino. In spite of the bank's action, the court decided to hear the matter to rule on the propriety propriety of the bank's dismiss, fix, sue again approach. You can read more about it from Brittany Davis, Miami Herald blog, May 10, 2012. In uh, 2009, in Minnesota, mirrors foreclosed under state law as the mortgagee of record. Okay, so they're doing as mortgagee of record. A class action suit was filed by homeowners in Delaware to hold mirrors responsible for fraudulent fees of foreclosed on foreclosures filed by mirrors. Homeowners have argued in court that their homes could not be foreclosed on because mirrors' deeds of trust were unlawful. In other cases, state appellate courts have held that mirrors is permitted to foreclose mortgage liens when it is the holder of the note and the mortgage. So, I don't know what all that was about, but I get to the one that uh, where was it? In exchange for fee, mirrors perform a service of being the permanent record mortgagee in the public land records. Plaintiff's complaint was dismissed by the appellate court for failure to state a claim under RESPA. Well, forget all that. Go find the public land records where mirrors says that they, they they're in the permanent record as the mortgagee. If there's a lien against your property, it's through mirrors. There was one in Michigan, though. Where was that thing? Ay, 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 ay. Uh, so, residential funding versus somebody, Sherman, I guess it is, decided uh, two consolidated cases holding that mirrors did not have standing to foreclose non-judicially pursuant to something or other. Uh, Supreme Court, though, reversed the decision in an order finding mirrors is the owner of an interest in the mortgage because mirrors' contractual obligation as mortgagee were dependent upon whether the mortgagor met the obligation to pay the indebtedness which the mortgage, which the mortgage secured. So you're the mortgagor. So contractual obligation as mortgagee were dependent on whether you, the mortgagor, met the obligation to pay the indebtedness which the mortgage secured. However, the court clarified that Mears status as an owner of an interest in indebtedness does not equate to an ownership interest in the note. They're not talking about that money. They're talking about the $10 or whatever the indebtedness is that's specified in the public land record upon which mirrors is the mortgagee of record. Got to find that record. 
Uh, the court clarified that mere status as owner of an interest in the indebtedness does not equate to an ownership interest in the note. Rather, as a record holder of the mortgage, Mears owned a security lien on the property, the continued existence of which was contingent upon the satisfaction of the indebtedness. Go pay the ten dollars to Mears or whatever it is. We need to ask Mears, hey, what is the security lien you have on my property? Of course, I don't have any property, so I can't do this. So again, these are one of these things I can't do, but if you have <laughs> land, property, and you're being foreclosed on, like five or six or ten people have called me and emailed me in the last day or two, you need to go to Mears. And when you find out how to do it, call me and tell me so I can tell everybody. Or, you know, go get one of these certified fraud at financial forensics investigators and, uh, you know, show them what it says. That's how we're going to get it figured out because we're really, really close because it's all down to mirrors. The mirrors just got a left hand and a right hand. And the left hand, they got a mortgage lien as the mortgagee of record. On the right hand, they're registering everything that has to do with the investment contract that you were told was a loan, but that, in fact, you are the investor of. That if you were to sign this line right here where it says pay the order of, somebody would have to pay you the value of not so much the note, but the value of the loan. Because, you know, this like this one was made for 41600 Well, if it wasn't all paid, how much is in there? You can say, oh, that's good enough. I'll cash out now. Take your money. Right? But, you know, basically you're foreclosing on yourself through <laughs> through the use of trustees that say they're doing it in your best interest. Go figure. So I know it's kind of confusing, and uh, I didn't do a really good job, but I just wanted to get something out because I know that come tomorrow people are going to have a chance to call mirrors or to go do something in their foreclosure. And, man, if this is any help, I'm, I was happy to offer it. So I'm going to leave it there and take off. You all have a great day. See ya.